we're gonna have our first official look of season four content. We're talking about maps, modes, and equipment. So if you guys wanna know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Confirmed by the HTS Twitter this weekend, there is the HTS event that's going on. It's pretty awesome. I got the chance to watch a little bit. It's really great. But on this coming Sunday, by the time you're watching this video, it goes live, that's tomorrow, that we'll be getting new HTS bundles, which the current bundles right now are on sale if you're so curious. Those bundles do go help out to support the organizations themselves as well. We're also gonna see a new map and mode, along with a new equipment, which we haven't heard any official news about, but I've kept an ear on the ground when it comes to Halo Leaks news and info, guys. If you haven't paid attention to the channel here, well, you've been missing out because we've been covering some really interesting stuff. One of those bits of interesting news is the fact that Infection will be there day one of season four, this was confirmed by 343 on a Discord call that they are doing now as a way to provide a lot of information to the community. And I have a whole video on that if you guys want to know more about it. Now, if they're going to showcase a new mode, well, they're probably going to want to showcase it on a map that fits Infection, right? Well, that means there's going to be two different maps that will likely show off. One map that we talked about previously on the channel is the map of Plaza, which was said to return within Season 3. Well, they were almost done in season three and we haven't seen it. So they confirmed it. it is going to be coming within season four, not the launch of season four, but soon afterwards they mentioned. But I think it's going to be a brand new dev map. That map being Forest, which is a leaked image that we're showcasing right here. This is the only image I've been able to really find online of Forest, which is apparently a temporary name of it. But it looks really freaking cool. Really nice aesthetic that I think we definitely need more of within Halo Infinite. A little more vegetation, a little more natural kind of environments. Not everything needs to be military, industrial, UNSC stuff. And the last thing they mentioned within this tweet is new equipment. We haven't heard any news about new equipment coming to Halo Infinite officially by 343, but from all the leaks and rumors and information that we have right now, we have a pretty good guess of what it is. And this will likely be the Quantum Translocator, which if you're first time hearing this, what it is is basically you charge up a spot, creates a little spot right there, as you can see within the world, you can travel anywhere throughout the map and they will teleport you to that exact same spot which is a new bit of equipment we've never seen before within Halo Infinite or Halo's franchise as a whole. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how it really plays out and pull off some really cool, interesting flanking maneuvers or some interesting tactics. Like you see this player right here jumps off the edge, then teleports back to where they were. I know one, but that wasn't really probably exciting to a lot of people where the new HTS bundles are gonna be showcased. But I do think this is gonna be our first look at the hazmat core, like our first true look. We obviously, we had that Dr. Squatch promotion that I talked about on the channel here as well. Because also keep in mind that 343 did mention that all future codings that we purchased or through a battle pass are gonna be cross core. So whatever HCS bundle you're gonna get within the next season here, it's gonna be on this hazmat core. Now hazmat here might not be like the most like official looking Spartan armor that we've seen previously. They might go back to Mark V, they might go back to Mark VII or something like that, but, but I would expect to see this get some action as well. And the reason I say that this is not gonna be a fracture core, this is gonna be the main core for season four is because the other leaks and rumors are showcasing that we're gonna get Yo Roy 2 or the Tenrai 2 event to expand on your Yo Roy armor core. And I do think we're gonna get a little bit of extra news here when it comes to this event of just being able to chance to showcase all the cool new stuff that's coming with season four. We were told that we're gonna get some more information about this and that being career progression, career rank. And this is what we're looking at right now. These are some leaked images of the career ranks coming in and did say that there were gonna be military ranks. We did get confirmation of that by 343. And this is some leaked image that, that was let out. And you can kind of see it for yourself, like yeah, they're kind of following like the bronze, gold, silver, platinum, onyx, but it looks like it'd be kind of like a top rank right here as well. It's not the craziest flashy looking thing, but it's something I think it looks great. And I'm happy that's becoming into Halo Infinite for season four. Now I recently did fight my way through one of the most difficult experiences I've ever had playing Halo. If you guys wanna know what that is, check out this cursed halo video right here thank you all for watching catch you on the next one peace out